Hello everyone, my name is Ritika Chaudhary and I am a Solutions Architect on Amazon Selling Partner API team. Today we are going to dive into the Listing Sample Solution application. If you are not familiar with it, the app provides all the necessary resources to deploy a fully functional SP API application for listings. You can use this application for testing your workflows, making changes and integrating it into your product. In this video, I'll talk about Listings App Framework and demonstrate how the various folders can help you automate your listings integrations using the sample solution. Before we get started, let's understand Listing Sample Solution App's framework. The code structure in Listing Sample Solution is based on Next.js framework and is written in TypeScript. It's important to understand the pre-established conditions Next.js sets before diving into the code structure. To learn more about Next.js, I have attached helpful resources in the video description below. To locate the Listing Sample Solution application, navigate to GitHub and clone the Sample Solution repository. You can also find a link to Listing Sample Solution application through the Building Listings Management Workflow Guide under the Notes section. After cloning from GitHub, open the project in the editor of your choice. This repository contains sample solution for other use cases as well, but today we are going to review the listings folder only. The code structure for the app is organized into following folders. Here, the first file to look into is the readme file. It contains all the steps needed to configure, deploy and run the listings app locally. Be sure to check out the recorded video on how to run listing sample application. I have attached a link to the video descriptions below. This app uses the NPM to pull the necessary dependencies. The package.json file contains all the dependencies needed to run the app. Now let's review other folders in this repository and explore their unique purposes. The first folder is the locale folder which contains all the web pages level components of the listings application. Every page in the listing sample solution has its own folder under the locale directory and each file in these folders represent a root from the applications page. Each web page component under locale folder uses small fine grained components defined in the components folder. These well defined components are reused throughout the application which helps keep our code organized and efficient. If you are working on one of the web pages provided by the listings app and want to understand the UI code, you will need to look into the locale and components directory for that page. This will help you understand the workflow and make any changes if you need. For more information, refer to the React developer guide that I have attached in the video. This guide will provide you with a deeper understanding of how to work with React components effectively. The other main folders you should look at is the API directory. This directory contains a folder for each SP API endpoints used in listings management workflow guide. Every folder has its own file containing all the business logic and backend code to interact and integrate with SP API endpoints. The next folder is the test folder, which is dedicated for writing tests for different components and pages in the listings application. As a developer, you may not need to include this folder in your project initially. However, if you plan to add new features to your application, having these tests can be incredibly useful for catching any error that might occur. The next folder is constants folder. Here you will find all the global variable constants used in the sample solution code. If you need to add or update these variables, you can do so directly in the global.ts file. Any changes made here will automatically propagate everywhere those constants are referenced within the application. The next folder is context folder. This folder is used to define a set of information that is available to the application at runtime. This includes configuration settings, 
environment variables and other necessary information for the application to function correctly. To learn more about the context and how they work, I have attached a link to the resources on passing data deeply with context. The next folder is hooks folder which is used to define functions that let you hook into react state and lifecycle features from a function component. Hooks provide events where you can define your functions without writing a class to customize workflows of certain use cases. They also allow you to reuse stateful logic across different components and can be used in various parts of the application. The next folder is internalization translations directly. Directory. This directory contains files for the translations used in Listings app to offer a localized user experience. This directory has one single dictionary file in JSON format for each locale supported by the application. Currently, Listings app default to US locale only, but you can add more translation if your app has to support multiple locales. The next folder is Model folder which is used to define the TypeScript type definitions for the variable structures used throughout the application. By defining types for variables, developer ensures that only values of the correct type can be assigned to them. This helps catch potential bugs at compile time rather than runtime. The next folder is SDK. This directory is another main folder that contains JavaScript SDK for Node.js. It helps automate SP API calls with login with Amazon, token exchange and authentication, making it easier to integrate with SP API endpoints. To learn on generating JavaScript SDK, you can visit the tutorial on automate your SP API calls using JavaScript SDK for Node.js. The next folders are utils and test utils. Test utils folder contains test cases built for the utility functions used in the listings application and utils folder contains utility functions or helper modules used throughout the application to help streamline common tasks and promote code reusability. The key folder you should be using in your project are the API directory that has backend logic for all the SP API endpoints used in listings workflow management guide. And that's it. I hope this video helps clarify your questions about listing sample solution application. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more SP API videos. Happy coding from all of us at Amazon Selling Partner API team. Thanks for watching.